Hi everyone and welcome back to Too Much Stuff, this month's Loot Crate Unboxing for October 2016. And the theme this month is Horror. Well, how about that? Anyway, let's see what we've got. First off we have a plushie in the shape of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What happened was true. It's a kid robot plushie. And it's leather face. Pretty good. And got his little um, <laughs> little apron on. Should be a bit more blood splattered. So cute. I like his little tie as well. A little tie. He's very well dressed for someone who's about to go on a murder spree. You see, so I, I always think if you're gonna, you know, kill a load of people who just knocked out your house to get because they're lost, you know, you may as well look smart. Shame this this apron's about to get um, a little bit more messy than it is at the moment. Uh. Not bad for a start. One, one you could give your little kid, you know, or if you've got somebody in your family who's expecting a baby, you could um, give them this as a present when the baby's born. I'm sure they'd love it. Make sure you take the tags off though. Next we have this month's t-shirt. And even just looking at that, it's going to be a doozy. You get you get that on it. Oh, that is that's cool. I like it a lot. So you got your team sluggers, Negan T-shirt from The Walking Dead. I think. Personally, this is one of the best t-shirts I've seen so far. Next is a pendant for Camp Crystal Lake, which is, as you all know, from Friday the 13th. Um, so it's got the little wraps there so you can hang it up. Or you can wear it. I don't know. Uh, so Friday the 13th, Camp Crystal Lake pendant. It is what it is really, isn't it? It's made out of felt. By the feel of it. Either that or asbestos. I can't really tell. Pretty cool. Next. A book. The Legion of Forgettable or Regrettable Supervillains. The Loot Crate Edition. And not bad little books. For, for, for any millennials out there, look, this is how you use a book. Not literally like this. You, you open it like this. And then each these things are called pages. You turn one at a time and on there there's there'll be writing and what you do is then you read it like this. So you'll read that page first and that page and that, you know. And don't you look at this. These these aren't icons, they won't they won't you can't click on them. The loop pin is absolutely superb this month. The Halloween loot pin. Couldn't say any more Halloween than Halloween. Is there? Loot code on the back of that, so I'll have a look what that is. <laughs> Possibly the most random thing I've ever seen in a loot crate a Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Glove chopsticks. Absolutely random. Do them all, or you just eat them like that? So you just do that. What the, what the hell? Absolutely madness. Bit rude. We have the magazine. Which, as you know, is my favourite part of the box. I have to say, though, um, that 
image is possibly one of the best teaser posters I've ever seen for a TV series and I'd like to say to AMC that is genius. Whoever came up with that, superb. A bit of elastic inside and the zombie mask. Which I am actually going to make right now. Hi everyone and welcome to Blue Peter. Today we're going to make a mask to horrify your family. You might need mum and dad to help you with this one. You need some scissors or a scalpel and some sticky back plastic and some paint. I like lead based best. Here's one I made earlier. I've left the eyes in just for extra frighteningness but you could pop them out and have your own eyes there. Let's see how it looks. Scary zombie kiddies. See you next time. Bye.